Brandon, do you have an update on Lakin's elbow beyond just the discomfort? And when that happens, how concerned are you, not just because of the injury, but thinking this is a bullpen game, how many guys am I going to have to use? Yeah, uh, first first part of the question is he's getting an MRI in the morning and we'll know more tomorrow. But right now it's just uh, right elbow discomfort. And we'll have the results tomorrow at some point. Um, yeah, I didn't know how we were going to finish the game, to be 100% honest. Uh, I felt like we needed to try to squeeze at least three out of them to start the game. And uh, when that didn't happen, we had a bunch of guys pick us up. Alex Wells picked us up. Dylan Tate there at the end. That was phenomenal. Um, not having to pitch anybody else that, you know, most of these guys were pitched last night. They've had heavy workloads. Dylan Tate threw two innings two days ago and comes, goes back out and gives, gives us two plus innings, two and two thirds. Um, so a great job by the guys that came up at, came after Lakins to get out. We walked too many once again, but uh, it was nice to um, piece it together there with very uncertain. It was uncertain uh, in second and third inning. John Mioli, go ahead. Brandon, when you guys win, Cedric is statistically one of the best players in the league and his team wins. What does that correlation mean to you when you see it, you know, directly leading to victories whenever he has a game? Well, I think it means he's on base a lot and he's making things happen. Unbelievable game again. Four hits. Homer to lead off the game. Gets us going right away. Plays great defense. Doing it all. Yeah, when he plays well, we have a good chance. And uh, – He's playing well in wins and losses right now. Rich Dubroff, go ahead. So Brandon, I guess you, you know you mentioned you mentioned Tate, but I guess he's sort of going to get overlooked because he can't. But he came into the game when you know when it was when it was a, when it was a one run game. Yeah. Has your has your opinion of Tate changed in the last couple of in the last couple of outings when you when you saw that uh, domination? Well. I think we've always known that Dylan Tate has really good stuff and he showed last year what he could do against right-handed hitters where he um, numbers against right-handed hitters last year were unbelievable. Um, you know, this year I feel like he got off to a little bit of a slow start, but his stuff is definitely getting better and there's more strikes, there's more attack in the strike zone. So you see uh, swings on sliders, you see a good change, good change up, which, going to be able to neutralize left-handers more often. Um, yeah, he's on a nice roll right now. And he's, um, like I said, tonight, that was so huge for him to go. I mean, I was just planning him going one inning, but to go two and two thirds to finish the game and not have to pitch anybody else. It was, um, you know, it's a bullpen saver. Last question is from Stan Charles. Brandon, I was going to ask you about Tate. So I'll switch over to Alex Wells. Uh, what do you think he brings to the table for this team right now? Well, he threw strikes. You know, he, I thought he kept guys off balance. It's kind of a funky delivery. He's got multiple pitches that he has confidence in. So I thought he did a nice job. I thought Winnie really did a nice job helping him navigate through those two plus innings also. Um, that's a really good lineup over there. And he kept them off balance. Um, and that's really all we could have asked. I mean, be able to go through that lineup, you know, one plus times is challenging, especially for a young pitcher, especially a left hander doesn't throw real hard, but he's got to be able to really, uh, you know, command pitches, keep guys off balance. Um, I thought we did a nice job defensively. A couple double plays, it was, it was it was huge. So for him to be able to come in and throw strikes in a time where we really really needed somebody, I don't know. Like I said, I didn't know how we were going to finish the game, um, so he really bridged that those middle innings for us, and that was huge.